Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Adeline. So in this video I thought I would share my spring wish list with you. It's finally looking and feeling like spring. Only took until April but we got here in the end. I think wish lists are great because I don't know about you guys but it really helps me sort of organize things in my mind. If I've got my separate wish list, it kind of helps me stop impulse buying. I like to mull over my wish list items and really think about if this is something that I want to bring into my wardrobe and hopefully make more sort of mindful purchases. Before we get into the wish list, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I know it's not, a huge number in the grand scheme of social media these days, but it really means a lot to me and it just makes me really excited to continue making videos that I hope that you enjoy. On that note, I thought it would be really fun to film a get to know me Q&A because I don't really share that much about my life outside of these kind of fashion videos. So if there's anything that you'd like to know, it can be personal, it can be YouTube related, it can be fashion related, then you can ask me in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram and I will round up all the questions and film a Q&A video. So first on the wish list is a trench coat and I'm sure you would have seen because I wear it all the time. I do already own a, uh, a, a wish list. I do already own a trench coat. It's this one from Nilby P that I got on W Concept a couple of years ago. And if you've watched my videos, you know that I wear it all the time. And I honestly love this trench coat. It has been probably one of my best purchases from like the past two years. So many of you guys have DM'd me about it and said that you've also bought the same one, which makes me so happy because I honestly love the design. It just makes any outfit that I wear look good. Unfortunately, I think it's sold out now, but the same brand um, have quite similar designs, just in different colors. And speaking of colors, I, I want a new trench coat because I would like something in a lighter color. So in that more sort of traditional beigey trench coat color, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Because the one I've got is that kind of like khaki, olivey color. And I want something a little bit lighter, a bit brighter. And because I really like the designs um, that Nilby P have, I was actually looking at what other kind of trench coats they've got in their collections. And I actually found a very similar one in this lighter beige color. So if you do like the one that I wear all the time, this could also be a really good option. I also found this single breasted version also from Nilby P and it's very high on the list of me wanting this trench coat. So it's very similar. Is it very similar? It's kind of similar to the one I have, but it's single breasted. So the design is a little bit different and it's in kind of the exact color that I want. I want that really typical trench coat beige color <laughs> with the brown buttons and it has like the buckle, like brown buckle design on the sleeves. So yeah, this is quite high on my list of trench coats. And because it's from a brand that I've bought from before, I feel like quite confident that I will like this design when it arrives. I feel quite confident that when I put it on, I'll know that it will look good. That makes sense. So yeah, this one is quite high on the list of trench coats. But I do have another few from W Concept that I was looking at. So I found this one from the brand Refined 902. So what I really like about this one is the pocket design on the front. I think it's really special. Um, I think the color is also spot on for what I'm looking for. And I also love that it's 100% cotton. I kind of wish the Nilby P ones were 100% cotton, but I think it's like 70% cotton. So yeah, in terms of uh, materials, I think this one is really great. So yeah, another high contender in my <laughs> spring wish list. 
I also came across this one from the brand Dunst. And what I really like about this one is it has a corduroy collar, which I think is really special. Again, the color is what I'm looking for in a trench coat. And I also have a winter coat from Dunst. So again, I kind of have felt the brand um, and I'm happy again with like what I had for my winter coat. So I would be happy to kind of try this trench coat. The only thing I'm not sure of is because the collar is corduroy, is that more of an autumn material? Like, I don't know, what do you think? I, I don't know if it's not spring enough for spring. Does that make sense? <laughs> I mean, for me, I think the dream trench coat is that totem one, the one that has the double-breasted buttons going all down the front. It is just stunning. Um, I don't know if it would be too big for me though, because totem sizing tends to run huge, <laughs> especially on me, who is only five foot two. Um, their, even their small sizes are very oversized and long, so I don't know if this would be too big for me, but that is the dream. So <laughs> something that I definitely don't need, <laughs> but want, is another pair of shoes, specifically ballet flats. I have two pairs of ballet flats. I've got one pair from Repetto. I've got the Cami ballet flats in black patent leather. And to me, those are quite fancy, so I don't wear them too often. And the second pair that I have is from Arquette. I got these last autumn, but I think they're still available on the website. And what I really liked about these was that they have a really high cut front. So it felt, it feels more sort of modern and contemporary than sort of a very classic um, ballet flat that has like a low cut front, <laughs> does that make sense? So I definitely don't need another pair of ballet flats, but I'm really liking this kind of Mary Jane style that's quite trendy at the moment. So I really love these ones from Low Flow Randall. I like that they really do look like ballet shoes. They're so cute. But the ones that I would possibly think about spending more money on are the um, Uma Mary Janes from AD. I think that's how you say the brand. I, I When I look at them, I really understand why they're so popular. And I think it's the shape of them. The front is a little bit more squared off, which looks really modern, I guess. And it has that bit more masculine feel about them. But then you have the thin strap, which is very sweet and very dainty. And I think mixing, having that mix of masculine and feminine is, just makes them really special. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting my words out correctly today. But yeah, I think like that's why they're so popular and they're just sold out everywhere. When I was searching for, you know, something similar, I saw that Massimo Dutti have a similar pair. They have kind of a very similar, like elongated front as the AD ones, but the strap is thicker. So it, it's, it feels a bit, chunkier, a bit clunkier, but you know, a cheaper option than the AD ones. And then I also came across this brand, which I hadn't heard before called Anonymous Copenhagen. Um, they are a shoe brand that makes a lot of quite timeless and minimal shoes. I would definitely have a look on there if you're looking for a pair of shoes, cause I actually liked quite a few of their designs, but they had a pair of like flat Mary Janes as well, which I thought were really cute. They come in a cute, a cute. <laughs> they come in a few colors as well. And they have like a pointed toe, which I think is quite nice. I think ballet flats are quite low in my list of things that I need or want this spring. And that's why I think it's good to make these kind of lists to be able to like separate these things out. I think that if I do buy a pair of ballet flats, it would be in that Mary Jane style. And also I'm thinking it would be nice to get a pair not in black. So I sort of feel like I want to try more colors this season. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like the sunshine or just the direction that I want to take my style in a little bit because I do wear a lot of neutrals, as you know, but neutrals are a great backdrop to add a pop of color. And I think a pop of color would be really nice in my shoes. So I'm thinking 
if I see a pair that I really love, then yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> so moving on to bags now, and my only real summer, summer bag is my Loewe basket bag. And I've had this for two, coming up to three years now, I think. You know, I still love it and I will definitely be using it all throughout spring and summer and even early autumn, I think a basket bag looks really great. But I kind of want to add something um, possibly in a darker shade into my sort of summer bag collection. And the first bag that comes to mind is, of course, those beautiful braided leather bags from Dragon Diffusion. Um, this is the one that I would probably get. I think it's a really good size for me. I don't want anything too big or too small. I think this is like a really good in-between size. My only concern is that I think that the straps look like they might dig into my shoulders because they're quite thin um, and they're leather. I don't know how it would feel on my shoulders if I have, you know, a lot of things in that bag. So if you have any experience with this bag or just anything similar, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> the Dragon Diffusion bags are handmade, so obviously their price points are a little bit higher than High Street, but I've seen that Mango have a version of this bag, which actually looks really nice. And it's also 100% leather, so if you like the look of the Dragon Diffusion bags, but they're kind of out of your budget, um, I think this mango one looks really nice as well. So I have a vision in my head of a cropped suede jacket, <laughs> a cropped suede brown jacket. And I feel like this would be a really great addition into that sort of timeless capsule wardrobe, but I have yet to find one that is like fits the vision that I have in my head. So I have found a couple on online that I like, um, but I'm gonna explain to you <laughs> the kind of things that like don't quite match up to what I'm envisioning. So firstly, we've got this one from the French brand Claudie Piello. And don't get me wrong, it is a beautiful jacket. And this is probably the closest to what um, I, can, I can see in my head. So shape and collar wise, this hits the mark for me, but I think I want something f more of a minimal design. So I would maybe get rid of the pockets um, and like some of the stitching around the bottom. But aside from that, it's really close to what I kind of want. And because suede jackets are, you know, they're, they're quite expensive, I'm happy to kind of hold out until I wait and see till I can find the perfect one. But I found another one that's quite, also quite a good option from La Redoute. So again, shape-wise, I really like this one. Um, and I like that the buttons are snap buttons. But I think it would look even sleeker if the buttons were also covered in suede. So kind of like this black shirt that I'm wearing now, the buttons are snap buttons, but they're covered in the same material as the jacket. And I think that looks a lot more streamlined and almost makes it look more expensive, I think. But going back to this one from La Redoute, I think that I also would have preferred the collar on the first jacket. So if we could combine these two jackets together, I think that's what I'm what that's what I'm envisioning in my head. <laughs> so those are a couple of things that are on my spring wish list this season. Like I said, I like to kind of mull over my purchases. So you will see in future videos if I make any of these purchases or not. Thank you so much again for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. It's so cool and crazy at the same time. If you are still looking for some spring inspiration, you can watch this video on screen where I style eight early spring outfits. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.